This parish is everything to Amaryllis Velez and her family. We can't live without it. But as parishioners of Saints Peter and Paul, for a long time they didn't have their own church until now. This is the beginning of something really, really beautiful in Williamsburg. On Tuesday night, the Velez family and hundreds more packed the pews to be a part of this momentous occasion, the dedication of a new church and consecration of the altar. The sound of pure happiness could be heard, people witnessing a rare sight. Very few people do see it because we don't have that many new churches. In the Diocese of Brooklyn, it's been 13 years since a new church has opened. During the dedication at 288 Barry Street in Williamsburg, Bishop Nicholas DiMarzio anointed the altar and walls with chrism oil. And we're going to put incense on it and burn it. It's a very ritual thing that comes from the Old Testament. As the ceremony concluded, hundreds of voices rung out in joy. A moment years in the making. The original Saints Peter and Paul Church burnt down about 60 years ago. For a long time, they were housed in a temporary church. And for the past few years, they've been using the parish's other church, Epiphany. Now parishioners have a place to call their own. This is God's work. Um, little by little, you can see that God is working. A new space where they brought along memories of their old church, like these icons and this refurbished cross. It was a very long journey, a very difficult one, but um, to see the excitement and the enthusiasm of the people, it's a great, uh, great blessing. As the former administrator, Monsignor Anthony Hernandez, initiated the project, Father Jason Espinal is the administrator now. For me, it's an honor and a privilege to, in a sense, take on the baton and keep going. The building also houses the Amea Center, a former opera house, a space to evangelize through the arts. And I think this is a good step in, in evangelization, this particular part of Brooklyn. This church will now be a pillar of the neighborhood and a symbol of the Diocese of Brooklyn's deep commitment to evangelization. In Williamsburg, Emily Druby, Currents News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.